Alright, welcome back to the latest in a series of, um, basically I'm taking cars around the Nürburgring, um, different high power ones, and today we're in the McLaren MP4-4, of course the 1988 Challenger, the Formula 1 World Championship, one of the most successful cars ever, it was on the podium bar every, every race bar one I believe in uh, 88, Senna of course being the uh, world champion. This is added to Gran Turismo a few months back. I don't know if you have a, a reviews and things on this uh, in this car. We raced it around Monza, I think, as well. So go and check that out when you got a minute. But yeah, but the, um, the new series is. Um, I'll explain it quickly. We're just we're trying to we're taking some of the concept cars, some of the cars that have been um, added to the game, all, all sorts of cars, basically. We're taking around the Nurburgring. The objective is a bit like Top Gear's test track to see who who's the fastest. Now, I did a video the other day um, with the Ferrari Vision Gran Turismo, which recently came out. We did the review, which uh, seemed to be a bit of a hit, and uh, we did it. Um, it was the first car in this series to go around the uh, to go around the Nurburgring as well, and it did a very good time. It was sub six seconds. Um, whether this goes faster or not, I don't know. But we'd like to uh, hope so. Uh, changes I've made for this, the only change I've made is I've kind of extended the top speed because uh, it was quite low. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so we've moved the uh, gear ratios a bit to aim towards giving us a higher top speed on the straights, which it absolutely should do. So, yeah, I did have a bit of a tinker with it the other day. I think I've got low did I get low um, yeah it was it was quicker than the Ferrari vision anyway um, so we're just gonna have to go again see if we can string two laps together scary moment yeah, just imagine that in the center in his prime and this vehicle just going around the Nürburgring I mean he, what he'd be able to get out of it be that'd be a hell of a sight to, uh, and a sound as well because uh, this is a hell of a um, hell of a great set of vehicles. One point five litre V six in the back of this. V sixes can still sound good. I'm not anti V six as much as I am like the electric vehicles and things like that. But the I've just recorded, or I will record later. Um, is that Volkswagen? Is it the Volkswagen ID going around here? That was pretty quick up the uh, hill climb. It's um, Goodwood. So stay tuned for that, and that's going to be going around the uh, Nurburgring as well. So we'll see what we can uh, get out of that car. This is going very well. Mightily quick. Around here. Yeah, so if you haven't uh, dropped us a sub yet, please uh, do drop us a like and a comment, and uh, do subscribe requests as well. So if you, once you subscribe, let us know uh, if you want us to do a certain video, but which car you want to see go around the, uh, the Nurburgring, and we'll do our best to make that happen. Yeah, the carousel, and it's, uh, the, it's uh, one thing I don't really like about the Nurburgring, but you can't sort of help it is the um, you got like the gradient sort of changes. There'll be it's like the, it feels like uneven. Um, there's a bit like towards the end of the lap, which I'll show you near the time, and it's like it's very hard to control, especially in a car like this, open cockpit. But still, uh, it's still a great fun track. The Nurburgring, never really a fan, better until recently, actually. But there's lots of great cars in the, uh, the Gran Turismo series that I think are going to give this this particular car uh, a run for its money in terms of top of the leaderboard stuff I'm trying to unlock the uh, Aston Martin Vulcan I think it is and the Ferrari FXXK because I think they're going to be serious challenges to to this uh, this particular time and you just think now I mean as I said it before when when you're a kid like the fact of going sub six second at Nurburgring was just like unheard of you think you know 20 odd years even that, I mean, 10 years ago was really a thing. Now it's like, you know, lots of companies are doing it. Some of these with the, some of these are unrealistic though. I mean, it's with the, 
the vision concept. You know, obviously they're not gonna. This was the bit where I meant like the uneven bit. Let's see, that's in the wall. We'll carry on. Yeah, I mean, with some of the vision concepts, obviously they're not gonna be made ever, like the Red Bull 2019 and things. Um, but yeah, some of the production cars, some of the cars like this that have existed. It'll be a really fun series to uh, to watch, and yeah, hopefully we can shatter some of the times that are um, shatter some of the times that are already uh, out there from the real world. Bear in mind that I'm doing this uh, with the controller. Yet to purchase a PlayStation 5 steering wheel. I hope because I think with a steering wheel I can get a lot more out of it, be a bit more daring in the corners. The control you kind of have to break a bit early, um, and then the steering as well. It's hard to get them to sort of turn in the corner depending on the car. Yeah, what we got here? Okay, so 5:46.7. That smashed our time from from uh, the other day. And that's the fastest of the leaderboard now, so we can only uh, hope to go faster. Than that. Yeah, the thing about Nurburgring is if you lose time, like we're quite a bit behind here, but that's that's nothing really. I mean, I know where the mistakes were uh, from the last one, last lap, and yeah, you just you, you've got plenty of time basically to kind of make it up. And here, where it's a shorter circuit, so if you do Bahrain or something, there'd just be the margin for error is just it's not a lot compared to uh, compared to what we've got here. I find that corner quite intriguing there, like the whole flat out section. Very easy to sort of do in a car like this with the aerodynamics it's got. In a production car, it may be harder. Um, but I struggle a bit with that in the Ferrari concept actually. If you want to go and sit back and see that video, definitely go and have a look. Because that was quite a lot of fun. I, well, I wanted to do the Porsche one at some point as well, because they. Uh, they released a, a vision concept. And whether that uh, whether that goes around, I mean, from what I've driven of the Porsche vision concept, it does not handle great, but it's it's half decent in a straight line. But I suppose if you could keep it on track here, then you could be uh, this the MP4-4 could be in for a uh, bit of a challenge. Yeah, it's a Nurburgring. Yeah, that's not going to help. But yeah, the Nurburgring itself. Uh, it's a lot of people you used to see people with like the car stickers that say, oh, I've, "I've driven it." You know, I suppose a lot of people have. I mean, it's just never been. To do the Nordschleife? No, never fancied it. Um, when he got Vox Viva, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, people just doing it in their normal road cars like that. Just so yeah, I've driven, uh, I've driven the Nurburgring and. Things like that. It's, for me, it's not of interest, but I'm sure some of you would, uh, would have done that. No, there we go. Just about kept on the track. Miles behind though, but again, we know where the big mistakes are. I'm going to iron those out. There were some places where I was a bit tentative to go flat out. Grass, I don't know. We don't want to, you just want to be around doing an open wheel car, it's just so big. So yeah, it's such a big track. You think it happened, and obviously the Marshall points are a few and far between, as you can sort of see. That's Nicky Lauda found out in 76. If you haven't, uh, and that's where he had to crash, the whole rivalry of James Hunt. If you haven't seen Rush, absolutely get on it after this. Unbelievable stuff. It was Senador, the Senador documentary as well, actually. I've read the McLaren. Wow. That's all I can say. It's up there with the, the best sporting documentaries ever. Might even be that. Maybe after Schumacher, of course. Yeah, those are your, those are your two. They're, 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 that's your homework. Those three, uh, those three films. Up 
the Nova Green. What if, what if we can go faster than that? Surprise me. Some of the technology out there now. There's no boost on this, there's no DRS, nothing. Energy recovery, anything like that that's going to give us a helping hand. But the Ferrari had energy recovery, but it was only really for one lap. Because then you had to, then it was like intermittent because you had to recharge it. Well, I'm trying to do an attacking lap. Maybe I should have waited to be fair, just recharge the whole thing and then gone for it from there. Yeah, not a fan of that, so. This is all mighty quick. Yeah, it looks it anyway. Yeah, that's where we hit the wall earlier. Get a good exit out here. Except for the main straight. It's, uh, it's not bad at all. Quicker than before. Of course, there's a ghost car, there's a slipstream. The slipstream would be delightful down here. Great sound as well. Go a bit quicker through here, breaking a tad later. You know. A bit wide. Okay. Oh no, we lost that. <laughs> Still a very, very quick time, we didn't improve at all, which is uh, a bit of a shame. I'm just going to show you the leaderboard now. Finest work, of course. Yeah, it's the rankings, but okay. So we're McLaren is the top two. Um, yeah, it's, that's it. That's it, pretty much. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.